myself with Chinese martial arts, and uh, therefore I learned uh, some fighting techniques. And with the boxing, uh, the boxing fighting style is based on a lot of masculine qualities. Because you start like this. You start with protection. Then there is the outer action. You go out and it's very efficient. It is quick. You know, whether you do it here or here, you always have to be quickly and effective. Furthermore, your opponent is in front of you. And you use your whole body power. So whether you do like this or go down, you use your whole body power. And it is very clear that this is your playing space. Because boxing is not here. And you do not stand on somebody's feet. So you don't box here. It's always here. It's the purpose, it's the outgoing force, it is go for it in the manifestation of action. So, and I didn't do the constant moving because it's always uh, very tiring to move all the time. And, and But anyway, your, comp your opponent is in front of you. Then there is also female male fighting. Maybe you saw the picture with the squad. There is in the Shaolin martial art, there is a male sword and a female sword. The male sword is sharp on one end only, which means that you have to fight like this, because you have to focus on one perspective. The female sword is sharp on both ends. So you have to fight according to it. You have to take both perspectives. You have to look at both sides all the time. So one side and the other side. You have to be able to fight in all directions, whether it is horizontal or vertical, whether it is in front or Behind you. <laughs> Whether it is high or low. And it is also a kind of art. You dance in circles. You dance around your swamp. And what is also important is that there are poses. So, because it's an art, it has to look beautiful. And when you box, you don't care if it's beautiful or not. But when you fight with a sword, it needs to be beautiful. So, you have to train the poses. Oops. And you have to perfect it. And never forget. Thank <laughs> you.